here is one of the most remarkable and enhancing creature, hummingbirds. These captivating species, which have a dazzled diversity, live in Americas. These special creatures have a fascinating wing moment and ability to hover. This talent explains how hummingbirds seem perfectly balanced up in the air. Their wings move in a figure 8 while they can fly backwards and upside down. How fascinating these facts are, right? The ability to hover is evolved for a reason. It allows them to dive into their favorite nutrients, nectars. Animals make set of choices, decisions or strategies and compare the value of their decisions when they are foraging. As a result of these comparisons, efficient foragers try to make most profitable choice of prey in order to maximize their fitness. In other words, they seek to maximize the net energy gain while they try to minimize their costs, such as search time and handling time. Just as optimal foraging theory suggests, most profitable foraging pattern will be selected through natural selection. The variable called currency, which means net energy gain per unit time, and the constraints of the environment predicts the most profitable foraging strategy. In addition, for maximizing the gain of a resource, animals should be foraging until they reach the greatest gain of food. When it's reached, animals should leave it at the maximum net gain. In hummingbirds foraging strategy, each territory is chosen based on the amount of food, nectar and water. If the territory contains prime resources such as patches of nectar plants or the territory contains a well-maintained feeder, the bird will not have to leave his area on foraging trips. Another fascinating fact about them is that they have a very good memory. They know every flower in their territory and how long it will take each flower to refill. Many male hummingbirds' territories are about the size of a quarter a prey, and when it comes to females, they will define their territories by their nests. Surprisingly, they are lone creatures, a solitary life is preferred by them. They come together only for mating or maybe to share a hummingbird feeder. They are known with their aggressive nature. Most hummingbirds can be seriously aroused for their territories. Both male and female hummingbirds have intense fights to protect these areas, their territories. These fights are also can be a form of social behavior. In this case, we can say that one of the costs of the sociality is the competition over space. Final of all, their mating behavior is flashy and also romantic. You might want to hear. Despite all the costs of high energy, male hummingbirds firstly present himself and then they do a mating dance for the female hummingbirds in order to capture their attention. have a long-lasting reputation for their altruistic behavior in the popular culture. During winter, they live in the deep tunnels beneath the snow, and when spring arrives, they move to the higher grounds like mountains or forests. Their lemmings breed continuously before they return to the tundra for autumn. As a result of this active breeding, they reproduce very rapidly and have a hard time controlling their population.
population reaches high densities and becomes unsustainably large, the resources of shelter and food are exploited and they face the risk of extinction. As a result of this exploitation, a large number of lemmings leave their home to travel long distances in search for a new habitat with more sufficient resources. Thanks. 